Right, in this video I'll be doing a review of Vinux, a Linux distribution for the visually impaired. Now it seems a bit rough around the edges this distro and uh, perhaps they could have done a little bit more. But what they have here is the Orca screen reader, excellent idea, and that's got outputs for braille displays and I'm sure they could be the best output and best drivers there imaginable, which I've got no way of testing that here. But they do seem to have done a bit of work on enlarging the mouse size and enlarging the font size. Now, those are good ideas, and I can see why a visually impaired distro, a distro for visually impaired users would need that. Yeah. But they haven't done it all quite right though. You could argue perhaps it's a bit difficult in GNOME to get that correct with the mouse size, but um, <clears throat> yes, I've done that before. <laughs> it's only a small little change needed, so let's just go and do that now. Four eight four name column header cursor size. Quid that size s f quote four two four quote two. And then reboot the distro. Now I think they could have also done some changes on the font size across the whole distro, not just on the display. So let's just go and correct that now. <coughs> One eight return. Name column header document font name value column text can tell it can tell left shoe be there to use pay one eight return name column header font name and now let's do a review of the distro so what I've gone and done there is installed dconf editor and made the changes under org gnome desktop and interface change the font size and the cursor size and then I change the cursor size in the .x resources file. Orca screen reader frame. Preferences push button. However, it's not very good when the reviewer has to go and make a, a few amendments in the distro just to make it more like what it says it should be. Right, this is the Orca preferences and as you can probably hear it um, doesn't half waffle on for a little while. You can change the voice settings, voice so change the pitch. Settings, panel pitch. Side apply. Push button. Orca user settings reloaded. Ooh, that sounds different now. What about really high pitch then? Orca user settings reloaded. Bit of helium at all for voice you, page, sir? Tab, voice type, settings, panel pitch. Orca user settings reloaded. Various changes you can make there on the speech. Um, so if you're editing spreadsheets or certain words, if you want to hear about progress bar updates, punctuation level, you know, all that. There's the braille settings. As I've said, I've got no means of testing that. Enable key echo. I think I'm going to shut that up for a moment. What does it say there? Apply. Oh, I can't. I can't understand half of what it says there. We well, can change some various pronunciations. Um, let's just try one. G edit. How about that? Hmm? Oh, I didn't. About that. Oh, I see. You just got to click off. I was. I was just doing that wrong there, wasn't I? Right. Oh, what? You know. <laughs> Come on! I thought you were gonna say, say that time. Document label. Jedit. Jedit. No, it didn't take my replacement string then. Okay, maybe I'm probably doing that all wrong. What we have here is Ubuntu 1204.2. So you've got the Orca there as you've seen, and we've now got large font sizes. I would have expected some sort of customization from, from the Vinux team. Is that too much to ask? Because if you look at like, I don't know, the mouse settings for the default, it's nothing. You can change the acceleration. You, Excuse me a moment, I'm just going to quit the Orca. Thank you, Orca. We've just got the settings there on the mouse, it's just the basic settings and nothing else. And it's pretty much the same for like keyboards. There's nothing extra there. You'd have thought there might be a little touch there where they just put their own features in. Anyway, just my opinion there. The desktop doesn't look too dissimilar to a standard Ubuntu 1204, but we do have this uh, classic menu across on the right hand side. The classic menu indicator. Oh, actually this might be useful just to see what applications we have. So under accessories, 
got ta clam tk for antivirus not that's particularly needed i don't even know how to use clam tk i wouldn't be particularly interested in using it because there's not really that much of a threat for linux users we've also got this gedit pdf and there's a weather indicator graphics nothing much internet we've got firefox web browser mangler voip client pigeon instant messenger thunderbird email client and transmission Office, you've just got a partial suite of LibreOffice, and it's, it's LibreOffice version 3.5. Sound of video, what's this, Audacious Media Player, isn't it? Audacious Music Player, I mean. Was that uh, including with, you yeah, know, so it's got Rhythmbox and Audacious. Oh, by the way, this is the DVD-sized ISO I've gone for, so it's probably got a bit more on it than the CD-sized. And System Tools, about the standard deconf editor I installed. System monitor, I bet that's about a standard what Ubuntu is. 500 meg of RAM in use. Perhaps a little bit higher than normal. Right, here's what I thought of Linux 4. The installation, that was a bit of a weird one. I tried it a couple of times, and I know in both times I put in the machine name and set the language. And when it came out, its machine name was the default of VirtualBox one, and language was in American. That was a bit weird. I say I tried it a couple of times, same both times. The styling, right, for this distro, bearing in mind that visually impaired users might like a larger cursor and larger font size, it lacks that. And it's pity because it didn't take me that long just to change it, it took me less than a couple of minutes and it could have made all the difference there. And the boot up speed, that's standard for Ubuntu 12.04, having Walker on there didn't really make much difference. Responsiveness, yep, yeah, about the same. Number of bugs, I've just commented this one about Orca, not to reduce the score for it at all, it, sometimes it just got stuck in a loop there. It's a bit of a weird one, especially while I was recording. Selection of pre-installed applications. What I think they would have really needed here was an application there to change the font and mouse cursor sizes. There's nothing in Ubuntu by default. They could have done their own, or maybe there is one out there, I don't know. I think it could have done with that though. Otherwise, everything else probably wasn't really too bad. So the good points, it's good integration of the Orca screen reader. I've not really seen the screen reader be integrated quite so well within a, an Ubuntu or Linux distro before. The bad points, as I showed there right at the beginning, a few little changes, little changes, could have made all the difference and I would have scored this distro a lot better. Overall though, I've given it 60%, which I'm a bit disappointed with and a bit sad about having to do that. Oh well, thanks for watching, see you later.